Hey Snacks, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time joining us, welcome to my channel. I am Sneaky Way, mother of the snacks. As you can see, I'm looking like a snack. So you know that everything that happens here is about snackdom. Become a snack. <laughs> Today's video is a three in one get ready with me, which I haven't done in a minute. So, and I feel like today's occasion calls for one. You know, I'm going out. It's a Sunday. Sundays are for lovers. The vibes, you know, the vibes. Um, yeah, so basically in the nature of a three-in-one, I'm going to do my makeup hair and show you my outfits. So if you're interested in seeing all of that, then do please keep on watching. Bye, I want to know when it's your hair bonji. This is my strobe cream from MAC. I'm also going to use the MAC foundation today. Look at this. Okay. I'm also going to use my MAC foundation today. Just because I'm in a MAC mood, you know, and then we're just going to set it all with MAC setting spray because that's just the vibe that we're in. How do you guys feel about MAC not being a luxury? I just feel like there are things that are specifically placed as luxury things, which obviously that is determined by the price point, um, but also just yeah like they're luxury items by virtue of the fact that the brand itself has said this is a luxury thing and that's how it's been marketed but the only thing that's subjective about luxury is what is a luxury to you and what is a luxury to me you know what i mean we can't force things to be luxury things when they're not but we can say that they are a luxury to you do you know what i mean it's something that is luxury and then something that is a luxury do you feel me i know you guys get me but anyways this is not a chit chat video so i don't even know why i got into that i just thought it was funny because you know i'm using mac things so why not you know you why not <laughs> uh, i've been shakies the funniest thing to me about today is you guys really feel like we all need to have the same opinions like the reason they're opinions is because we're all entitled to our own. If it's a fact, then like, shout, up, let's rock. But if it's an opinion, why are you getting so worked up, Doug? You are right. <laughs> Y'all be taking this shit too seriously. I've been so cool, can you bang, man? We have entered the final stages of the makeup 
and this is where we bring back some life and color into the face so I just misted my face now because of all those powder products that I um, just used just to make sure that when I set it at the end I don't look very matte because I realized that my skin does that especially here in Johannesburg because it's so dry so yeah the first spray that I use is a face mist and then the next the last spray that I use is a setting spray um, but yeah so back to adding color gonna use some blush I use this one in the corner it's very very good on dark complexions well if you're my complexion anyways just wiped the makeup that was on my lips and now I'm going to line them I never used to line them like this is how I would usually I would usually just wipe them and then put lip gloss on but now because you guys I don't know like you can see that I have kind of a natural lip line but now I overline them so that's why I line them and I don't know it just makes them look juicy I don't know I like it if you don't that's nice <laughs> um, I'm using a brown pencil from it's a pencil stick eyeliner from Scarlet Hill Mr. Price um, but I'm using it for my lips so there's that so what I do is this and then I'll literally follow like just just after my actual lip and literally the edge of the lip line that's where i'll put the pencil i don't know like i feel like <laughs> i suck at explaining it but when you look at your lips you'll know what i'm talking about i don't take it all the way to the end i just let it like disappear on its way there Um, and then with the bottom, I literally just do this part and then I leave the edges, similar to what I did at the top. They just look thicker, you know. It's giving she go. That's enough uh, of you in my space bubble. Uh, what is the last thing that I need to do? So I'm gonna set my face and then put mascara and then we're gonna go do the hair, okay? So I'll see you at the hair. My mascara, my setting spray. It is now time for the sponsored portion of this video. Uh, sorry about the echo, I am in the bathroom because this is where I feel most comfortable to really lay and slay my hair. So I'll try to keep the talking. Actually, there's no way I'm gonna keep the talking at a minimal. That was gonna be a lie but <laughs> just bear with me I'm sorry okay so today's sponsor is Eunice hair you've probably seen on the thumbnail what hair it is but uh, it's my baby I've been wearing this wig I've, yeah I've been wearing it um, I took some before footage like before wearing it uh, of me working on it and doing whatever I needed to do to it so I'm gonna show you that now um girl so I wanted to show you guys this wig before I get into tweaking it because one thing I'm gonna do is tweak it also sorry about the echo this room is still 
quite empty but it is what it is they've like added this stocking bit to it so that you ultimately don't have to bleach the knots or wear a stocking cap underneath yourself um, but I'm just finding that it's very light for me. The idea is that it gets rid of the need for you to bleach your knots but I'm just really pedantic and I can see that the knots are not bleached so it's bothering me anyways especially because the hair doesn't have any roots and I've never worn colored hair that doesn't have root so I feel like the lace just needs to be perfect which is why I'm going to be cutting this off and I'm then gonna bleach the knots and then we'll take it from there. But I just wanted to show you guys um, how it comes for all my lazy girls who just wanna cut this front lace and keep it moving. And also for people who would match this color, this stocking color, this would be really great for that. But I just feel like for me, it looks like a, look at that lace though, like, can you even see it? Okay, um, so yeah, because it's not the same color of my complexion, like it's not as dark as I would like it, I feel like it's giving, she's wearing a wig, you know? So this would work well for someone who is this complexion, well, their scalp rather is this complexion, and also someone who is either lazy to go through the whole customizing process or someone who doesn't know how to go through the whole customizing process okay so yeah i have worn it a couple of times like i think for a good month now i'd say and so far so good i think i really love it when i can tell you guys about hair that i've been wearing consistently because it's like a true reflection of my experience of the hair i may be wrong but I, I really am sure that they said it's 24 but when it's on me it's really long but also i'm short so my height creates illusions of longer hair but anyways uh yeah and this comes colored like this so i didn't do any work on it and i would highly recommend this for my girlies who want to try some color instead of just normal 1d hair but don't want the work and effort of customizing their own hair so the hair does come with all the combs that wigs come with. It had comb down here, which it still does. It had one on the side here and one on the side here. I took these ones on the side off because that's usually what I do with all my wigs because I find that the combs here usually like pull at my hairline, which is not good. Um, and as long as I have the straps at the bottom, which this wig does have, yeah, as long as I have these straps and then the comb at the bottom, I feel like my wig is secure enough and then I just got to be spray it in the front. This is a teapot wig uh, and the reason it's tea is because the shape of the lace is tea. So there's only lace here in the front and down the middle parting. It has all the qualities that I look for in a wig that are good and I'm very happy with how it's treating me. Um, so because I have been wearing it for a while, I do have a little bit of buildup over here. So I'm just going to grab some acetone and just brush a little bit of that off. So what you're going to do is grab a toothbrush or edge laying brush, whatever small brush you have that you use for your edges and your hair. You dip it into the acetone and then you just brush where there are remnants of your glue from the last time you wore your wig. Um, I'm glad that I get to show you guys this also because most of the time when I'm doing wig videos it's like first time application um, so just just to show you something different to show you that your hair can look good as if you're wearing it for the first time every single time okay so that is all the product off Good as new um, and then because acetone has a strong smell I'm just gonna run the brush under some water and then run that through here just to get rid of the very very strong smell and we're back 
it literally doesn't even look like it needs to be sprayed down but because you know i am who i am i'm gonna spray it down i feel like it just makes the lace look really good especially um to people who are close to you also if you can see my lace you're too close but you really don't have to but i'm doing it anyways using my trusty got to be spray the nozzle is a bit weird i think there's like product build up on it so it's not guys make sure you clean your nozzles so that the spray sprays properly i'm just going to spray where the lace is on my forehead and then melt it down Bob's your uncle. Maybe in my case, Sanel is your uncle, you know? Because <laughs> I'm not Bob Min. <laughs> ah, I am so annoying. Oh, it's so pretty. Do you guys see how pretty this is? Like, you cannot make this shit up. And it's thick. Look at how thick the ponytail is. So thick, but also it's still flat enough here so that when you do sleek styles, it doesn't look wiggy. I hate wigs that look wiggy. Like, we all know you're a wig because I'm not growing red hair from my skull, but don't look like one. Damn. Look at that. Look at the way she move. So much body. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. She's perfect. I'm going to link this hair down below in the description box and if you're interested check it out there's usually quite a few sales on um eunice they have like a lot of celebration anniversary birthday what what there's always something so just keep your eye out for those um and shop like when there is a sale because definitely the hair is worth it full price but you know we all like a little sale or something so yeah check it out Oof. baby I forgot to tell you guys, so I did bleach the knots, but when I bleached them, nothing happened. They went from black to this burgundy color. So for some reason, this color doesn't lift, which means you can never change the color of the wig, which one is good because that means it's never gonna like fade. It's genuinely permanent dye. Don't know what the science behind that is because I'm sure even permanent dye lifts when you bleach it. But these babies did not budge. I don't know, I thought I should put that out there. But anyways, let's go get my outfit. I actually don't know what I'm wearing, so there's that. Sorry about the mess, guys. Um, it's a work in progress here. This is the way my studio is gonna be eventually. This is where I'll be filming my videos when I've set it up. But anyways, so I'm thinking of wearing this dress, which if you've watched my Zaffle haul, you will know that this is from there. Um. It's giving we have an end of down. <laughs> I don't know. It's got the slits as well. You guys will see when like I do the outfit shots of the full thing. But okay, I'm loving the red hair with it. Oh my gosh! Definitely thinking is a bubble pack. Uh, let me go get them. These are the pack that I'm away, Mr. Price. I don't know, I like the dark brown with this nude shade. I feel like it goes really nicely. I do have other nude ones though, so maybe I'll change my mind. Guys, like I need an accessory, but I don't know what. I feel like it's missing something. This is the look, guys. This is it, though. This, this is it, though. You man, you man. But this, the, the hat is very dependent on where we end up going. Imagine if we go like sit in a restaurant that's indoors, and you go in this gorgeous But oh my gosh, it needs this hat. 
Should I just commit to the hat regardless of where we go? Because, baby. We must go like to a rooftop. As long as we're outdoors, I'll be fine. Yes! I need to wear the hat. I have to wear the hat. Period. Period, bitch. Oh my god. I need a bag now. I was thinking of this Steve Madaron because of my nails. I don't know if you guys saw these, but you know the vibes. Eh. I don't know how I feel about the shape though. Okay, it's an option, but I'm not fully convinced. I don't think snake is what we need today. No, and I don't feel like carrying that mini one. No ways. But you see, if I carry this one, it's just gonna be too much at the beach, but no. I'm gonna carry this one, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I can carry the... Okay, you guys will see which one I'm thinking of if I decide to carry it. But if not, okay, cue the final look. everything has come together oh, this color this like hair with the nudes it's giving everything that I wanted to give get hip get happy and I'm very happy that I filmed this because I would have been very mad at myself if this look came together and I was like damn it I should have filmed it so eh, it's a win for the snacks I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up a comment down below and of course don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already do check out the links in my description box and also I will have the outfit details as well in there. That is all from me. I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my afternoon. As I chuluga, like it really is just me. It's fine though because at least it's <laughs> I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I love you all so much. Mwah. I wanna have fun with you.